Being able to ask yourself what is valuable to me and what is invaluable to me. What is it that allows me to feel valued and to be a valuable person in this world? Having that time, which is sacrifice, that is worship, to just sit, to breathe calmly and to just focus. Whether it be I look upon a tree or I look upon a plant, I find a point of focus. In the prayer itself, I focus my eyes straight ahead or on the floor in front of me and I ponder why is it that there is such a great world around me and although I am such a speck how beautiful I am as a speck how problematic and troublesome I can be as a speck how difficult my life can be and yet the doors of doubt and for me anxiety and depression come about when a person removes value from themselves so allowing your body to be calm to be still to be upright, to go into motions of bowing and prostration, allow me to humble myself in servitude, salam, to the Creator and to say, there is nothing greater than Thee, O Creator, but at the same time to recognize that I am a beautiful creation and I, and I deserve to be valued and I am valuable, but I have to recognize my essence and my being and that requires me giving that time to myself to think, to ponder, to prostrate, but also to be still and to enjoy a moment's silence. Silence is important to me personally, partly because of that tradition, um, but also to make that space in my own life, um, not just at meeting for worship, but at home um, to, to notice. So I've also been influenced by uh, mindfulness teachings, particularly by Thich Nhat Hanh, um, and that kind of meditation of being present in the moment and not just listening but noticing and being realistic about what's actually happening here and now I think is really important and that too can lead me to being very present with the real world as I'm experiencing it and to trying to be more alert to how things are for other people and having that engagement with maybe the political sphere broadly understood with what's going on in the world at large as well. In my own practice, the silence is really important. It's just a, just a time of being together with God, but it is in the silence that I come to know God. God is. And I am in that isness with God. My own practice began with Christian meditation, but moved to centering prayer about 12 years ago. I meditate for 25 minutes twice a day and three times when it's possible. During this time, I rest intentionally in God's presence. When I get caught up in thoughts, which happens a lot of the time, I use a short word like a windscreen wiper to let the thought go. In meditation, we quickly discover that our thoughts aren't solid and that we are not our thoughts. To quote Paul in Corinthians 3, our identity is hidden with Christ in God. Practicing meditation is an invitation to wake up and die so that you can live in resurrection life here and now. That complete self-surrender of kenosis, taught and lived by Jesus. For as he says in Luke 17, Behold, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Meditation isn't about finding peace or happiness. These are potential and temporary byproducts of a practice that if you let go of control, will deconstruct your assumed identity and shake you to your core, to where God abides in you and you abide in God. It's a withdrawal into intimate engagement with God that enables a reciprocal, deepening interaction with the world. Without silence becoming the solid ground that we live from, living and being will diminish us 
and we won't bear lasting fruit. The work of silence is simple, but it goes against the grain of our society and culture, even in our churches. But if we're going to be in right relationship with God, ourselves, other people, and all of creation, then we must give silence more space in our lives. So will you give it a go?